Hey gang, I'm my radar meteorologist, Master Pucci. About five and a half years ago, I flew to Daytona Beach, Florida to write out Hurricane Matthew in a storm shelter. While I was there, I made friends with a number of students from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Fast forward to 2022, and now several of those close friends are pilots. That means they're always sending me cool things they see in the sky, but one video in particular caught my eye. I want to show you what my friend Brian Revias caught while piloting a Republic Air flight from Newark to Providence on January 17th. Here's a look at the route for United Air Flight 3577. He flew over Long Island and route before pivoting north near Westerly, Rhode Island. The skies were undercast this particular day, meaning there was a blanket of cloud cover below. Rivius flew at approximately 13,000 feet with speeds around 400 miles per hour on the roughly hour-long flight. On his video, you can see multiple concentric rings of color surrounding the shadow of Rivius's aircraft. We call that a glory. Glories always form opposite the sun. You can spot them whenever mist is present and you're somewhat removed from it, like if you're on a mountain or in an airplane. Because shadows converge on the anti-solar point, or that opposite the sun, hikers can often see the silhouette of their bodies projected onto the cloud below. It can get distorted though, resulting in something we call the Brock Inspector. It looks very large and ghostly and a little bit eerie if you don't know what you're looking at. Scientists still don't fully understand what forms the glory, but we know a couple things behind it. We know it's the result of me scattering. In other words, a beam of light skims around the edge of a spherical water droplet before entering, skimming again, bouncing back, skimming, and exiting. If you have multiple rays of light on opposite sides of the droplet, the two can undergo that process, be scattered back towards the observer, and interfere in a wonky pattern that produces colors. The interfering rays of light overlap constructively and destructively in alternating bands, producing those concentric halos of light. Since each wavelength of light ends up with a slightly different patch of constructive and destructive interference, we see the bands of colors individually all split up, like nice rainbows. The smaller the droplets, the tighter the rings and the more of them you will see. In Rubius's video, at least two main rings are visible. We also have to talk about droplet size and distribution. Remember, we need small cloud droplets and not raindrops. Cloud droplets are way smaller, often only about a thousandth of a centimeter across. The smaller they are, the more spherical they can be. For the best, most bright and colorful glories, all the droplets should be uniform in size. If we have a 10% variation in the size of the cloud droplets, only the inner ring or two will remain visible. That appears to be the case with Rebius's glory. A 20% or more variation in all you have is a bright halo with a little bit of color tinged on the outside. Here's a cool photo taken at Yellowstone National Park. Notice a glory surrounding the photographer's head in the steam from a hot spring of all things. And here's a personal favorite I took from the U.S. Coast Guard ice cutter Healy in the Arctic Ocean in August of 2018. What you're seeing is a fog bow. That secondary fainter ring you see opening upwards is a reflected light fog bow, resulting from sunlight beaming first into the flat water, then reflecting upwards like a mirror. That made a new fog bow, albeit a weaker and fainter one. But look right at the bottom of the arc. You can actually see my shadow surrounded by a very weak glory. It's kind of weak, but it's still there. Really cool to see in person. So next time you're in a flight cruising over a cloud bank, look out the window for a glory. You may just discover that you have a halo after all. Follow My Radar on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.